Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Dominion Brewing. Uh, they're out of New Jersey. The, uh, the beer style is an English style ale. So, uh, I'm not too familiar with this particular beer. I have had several of their beers and some of them have been rather tasty. They do a stout that's very, very tasty. It says bottle date is 041813 very nice code right here above the barcode very easy to read on the label itself very nice so here we are in June this is April May June it's two months old so it sh still should be very tasty hopefully uh, let me see what uh, let me read what's on the back Dominion Ale this medium body generously hopped ale that is brewed in the English style it's complex yet smooth clean and refreshing and can be enjoyed year round so I don't know if they brew it year round. Let's take a look and see what it says. Availability year round. So, evidently, this is one of their uh, beers that they do all the time. So, we'll see how it goes, guys. Uh, English style pale ale, 5.40 uh, ABV. Let's see. It says uh, the notes on this the English style ale is malty with an assertive hop character. The result is a beautiful, crystal clear amber color with a medium body. Big pranks for this beer. The cuisine is the Indian, Mediterranean, and Middle Eastern. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, and the meat is fish and shellfish. Very similar to the IPAs, guys. So hopefully it's hopped up enough for my hop head. We'll see. Glassware, the pint becker, the stein mug. I got the pint glass today. And it's not recommended for extended salaries on this guy. So you wouldn't want to keep this around too long. So let me grab the opener. The opener should be here any day. They've been produced and mailed, so they are in transit. Let's get this in the glass. It's a twist off top. I'm not a big fan of those guys. Home, and I had one of myself. I said, well, why? And I said, because the home brewers can't use these bottles over. All right. Yeah, it's a twisty. So, any of the home brewers, uh, the minion, I don't know if all the beer, I'm thinking now that uh, I think the oak uh, bourbon barrel style is a twisty, so uh, I don't like to throw it away. The home brewers have to go buy their bottles when they can't use these over again, so the garbage. Alright, guys, it is a rich amber color. I mean, it's slightly darker than a normal pale color to me. Uh, almost looks like an IPA color, just about. A little more orangey than a typical IPA. So. Not much head. Let's get a nose on this one. Very malty. I mean, I'm getting a big cereal back, malty backbone on this. Almost a cracker, you know, a bready cracker smell. Not a lot of hops, maybe some earthy hops, uh, size, or maybe some German hops or something in here. Or maybe some Kent Goldings uh, in there. No American hops that I can smell. Doesn't smell piney or grapefruity or or any of that. It smells kind of earthy. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Taste is the same. Almost to a bready, crackery, malty taste. Very light on the, very, very light on the hops. Very much uh, in the English style. More of a peppery, earthy hop to me.
Very easy drinking, very sessionable, a lot of flavor, but not a lot of hot presence in this one, guys. So. But out of the fridge, 40 degrees, you know the deal and the drill. I'm going to let it warm up, let her taste it, see what she thinks of it, and we'll sip on it for a little while. Come back and do the pop jug. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Very easy drinking, very sessionable ale. Definitely in the English style, not a lot of American hops, in your face kind of hops with this one. Very subdued, uh, maybe in uh, East Kent Goldings or a size or some kind of more, more subtle hops than what the Americans do in their uh, in their pails and IPAs, guys. Final chunk. Final chunk. I'm getting the crackery. More like almost like a wheat taste to me. Grassy, biscuity, cereally malty. I mean, uh, the, the maltiness is definitely there since uh, we're not getting a whole lot of uh, uh, hops uh, with this one, guys. So, very easy, very sessionable, very lawnmower. It's just what I call this good lawnmower beer when it's uh, nice and hot outside, like it's been here. So, it's pretty tasty, guys. Uh, uh, not the style that I normally drink, and I like a little more hops in my pails and, than what they're getting here, but very appropriate for the style as far as I'm concerned, guys. So I'm going to give it, uh, it's got the date right here on the back of it, I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give it a 7, it's a B plus. Uh, very enjoyable, sessionable lawnmower beer. Uh, they used to be in Virginia, but now they're up in New Jersey. I think they got a big tax break by moving it up there. So. More power to them as far as I'm concerned. Decent, but I prefer something a little more hoppier. Maybe like a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale or Oscar Blues Pale. So, uh, very nice, but not blowing my hair back. Uh, rate beer, uh, beer Abbey comes up with 84, which is in their good range. And Rate Beer says 48 overall and 65 in the style. So, not too impressive numbers. So, maybe I was a little too generous on this one, guys. So, it was decent. Like I said, not something I would seek out again, but had to try it, so there you go. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. And as always, make comment, subscribe, hit that like button. You know what we're going to do? We're going to look in that fridge tomorrow. Hope you can join me then. See everybody.